Expect a lot, give it a shot, you can own the zone. So go, go, stop. Go, go, stop. Go, go, stop. Go, go, stop. Expect a lot, give it a shot. So go, go, stop. Make some noise for your host, Jesse Tobin. Hello! It's Wickedy Wickedy Wednesday! This is the Game Zone. 30 plasma screens. This is our live studio audience and they're excited. Please let me introduce to you our three contestants for the day. Okay, Jesse, our first player from Epping Heights Public has shaken hands with the Queen. So let's give a royal welcome to Jenny Fundenherbal. Our next player wants to swap places with Andrew Johns. From Bird Oldfield Public School, make some noise for Mitchell Pappenhausen. Our next contestant is a race car enthusiast who can't stand spiders. From Riverston Public, let's hear a cheer for Tiana Ritter. Welcome to the show, guys. Coming up the game zone, let's get into Go Go Stop. Ooh, that was close, Jenna. We almost collided. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Mitchell, and welcome, Jenny. Now, Jenny, to quote a famous Australian, please explain the photo that we've got of you with this bird on your head. Well, that's me and my pet budgie, Leo. And uh, Leo was your first budgie? Yep. Beautiful colours. Yeah. All right, welcome to the show. Very similar to your T-shirt. Yes. Themed with the, with, the, with the budgie, I love it. Of course. Fantastic. Welcome, best of luck. Mitchell, who are you playing for today? I'm playing for Bird Oldfield. Bird Oldfield. <laughs> We'll check in with this score very shortly, but please, my favourite animals are frogs, so please tell us about this dream you had when you were a frog. Okay, well, I was a frog and, not, like, I was having an ordinary life as a frog, like, I was on a leap, leap pad and, um, then this tiger just came and bit me. See, you were just minding your own business. Yep. Why, what's a tiger got business with a frog for, anyway? Ha beat uh, me. I think be kind to frogs. I'm with you, Mitchell. Frogs are fantastic. Save the frogs. That's the one. Save the frogs. Good luck today, Mitchell. And finally, you, Tiana, tell me your favourite sport, please. Um, it would have to be softball. Softball. And now tell me, whereabouts did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Bathurst. Right. So did you ever get out to Mount Panorama? Um, yeah. And are you a big fan of the V8s? Um, Jason Bright. Hey, your favourite driver? Yep. Oh, well, hopefully he's watching and cheering you on today. Guys, welcome to the show. Go Go Stop's the name of the game. The idea is to pick up points, because you pick up points for your score, the person with the most points at the end of round three gets the chance to run for fun in our final player's prize round. However, you also get points for your school. So before we do anything else, let's check in with the school scoreboard. Riverston on 225 points. 300 points sees Bert Oldfield in second place. Epping Heights in the lead by 195 on 495. All right, plenty of points on offer today, guys. The name of the game is to pick up points, of course. You do that by correctly answering questions, by finding bonus screens in the game zone, or by stepping off the game zone first. There are plenty of tricky things hidden under these plasmas. Let's have a look at now at what you might find. First of all, there are hazards. Try to avoid hazards if you can. They push you around, particularly in round three. There are plenty of them in that round. Stops are safe zones. Your run stops when you find a sa uh, stop. Your run also stops when you find a bonus screen, but you get the points and goes are what you need to make a run down the game zone. The best way down the game zone, we call that a fast track. Now that we're all set to play, let's load up the game zone for round one, three-way scramble. All right, guys, I'm going to show everyone at home one of the fast track options for this round. There could be more than one, but you have to try and work that out for yourself. Everyone at home has now seen that. You've got your wrist controllers on your wrist. Use those to lock in the answer, either A or B, whichever you think is correct. Step up now and select an entry position anywhere at the top of the game zone. First person to lock in the correct answer gets the first chance at the game zone. Question one for 10 points. What has more mouths? Is it A, a baby sugar glider, or B, the adult lunar moth? Lock in A, glider, or B, moth now. What have you selected, guys? Moth for Jenny, Mitchell and Tiana for Glider. The correct answer is A, Glider. Take a step forward, Mitchell. Take a step forward, Tiana. Mitchell, you locked in first correctly. Let's go with you now in the top corner. Go for a run. Can you find a fast track? Now, guys, I uh, don't know whether I mentioned at the top of the show, 10 points for correct answers, 10 points for bonus screens, and 25 points for stepping off the end of the game zone first in round one here today at Go Go Stop. As Mitchell finds a bonus screen, 
on his first run on the game zone. I like her enthusiasm. Mitchell wiped the board. Great start. Tiana, your turn. Let's light up that screen now. Go. Second screen. Go. Third screen now. And you're continuing your run. Hey, look at those shoelaces. They are fantastic. Fourth screen down now. Level with Mitchell. Oh, pushed over. Now, Mitchell's already found that bonus screen, so that is now a stop. Safe zone. Wipe the board. Great start, guys. Jenny, best of luck with question two. Guys, for ten points now, which of these is longer? Is it A, five fully grown green iguanas lined up head to tail, or B, the, the tail of a dilophic... Uh, a Diplodocus. Not that big on my uh, dinosaur names. Let's see what our players think. Dinosaur tail. See, that's an easy way to put it. Let's see if you're correct. The answer is Diplodocus. Well done, guys. Everyone correct. Step forward. All of those paleontologists watching are going to hate me. <laughs> All right. You would have, uh, you're the person at the back of the game zone, Jenny, so let's light your screen up now. Go for a run. Now, can you remember what we've already seen revealed? Because if you can, you can follow that path. So far, so good. Three screens down. Moving closer to the end zone. Could this be the first fast track of the day? Hey, we've seen that one before. You're over on that stop, we saw. All right. All three players have had a turn on that square. We'll wipe the game zone clean. And Mitchell will go with you now. Hey, you're pushed over. Let's see what the screen Tiana's on is. Ten bonus points to both of your scores. Well done, guys. So those, those points go into both of your scores. We'll wipe the game zone clean, and that's the end of both of your runs. Okay, next question now. For Tiana and Mitchell, a chance to step off the game zone with the correct answer and pick up a bonus 25 points. What is rarer in the wild? Is it A, the white rhinoceros, or B, the wallamite pine tree? What's rarer in the wild? Let's have a look what our players have locked in. Rhino for all three players. Well, I can tell you in the wild, there are around 11,000 wild white rhinos left. There are fewer than 100 wallamite pines. You are all incorrect. A very, very rare wild pi uh, pine tree grown in Australia, or growing in Australia. Next question, players. Once again, the chance to step off the game zone for Tiana and Mitchell. What is a quagmire? Is it A, a patch of boggy ground, or B, someone who collects jars of saliva? Blocking bog or saliva now, players. Let's see what our players think. Saliva for Mitchell and Jenny. Tiana with bog. Well, Tiana or Mitchell, you've selected different answers here. One of you will be stepping off for the bonus 25 points, putting one of you in the lead after round one. A quagmire are muddy bogs. Step off the game zone, Tiana. You are correct. Come down, Jenny. Come on, Mitchell. Let's go to the scoreboard after round one. Jenny, a bit of a slow start, but still managed to pick up 10 points this round. Mitchell, you're up there on 40, but Tiana with the correct answer at the end there, in the lead on 65 points. Can we squeeze a smile out, Tiana? Come on. Yes, there's a smile. Fantastic, guys. After the break, round two, our second three-way scramble, also our first elimination round. Don't miss it. This is Go Go Stolp. Go, go, stop. Welcome back to the excitement cage we call the Go Go Stop Studios. It's time to get into round two now, so let's load up the game zone for three-way scramble. Jenny, at the moment, you're on 10 points. Mitchell on 40. Tiana, you're on 65 and in the lead. Only the two highest point scorers go through to the next round, so best of luck picking up points. The game zone's loaded. 15 points for correct answers and bonus screens in this round. 25 points for stepping off the game zone first. We're going to show everyone at home a sneak peek of one of the fast tracks in today's round two. Players, good luck finding that. Step up now and select an entry point anywhere you like as we get into question one for 15 points. While Queen Jadis ruled Narnia, was it more often A, summer, or B, winter? Lock in A for summer, B for winter. What have you selected? Winter for all players. Well done, guys. All step forward. You're all correct. OK. Mitchell, you were the first person to answer correctly. Let's go with you now. Take a step. Second screen. Third screen down now. Hey, you have done very well in finding tracks down the game zone. Going for the zigzag approach right now. Where's he going to go? 
Shaking his head, he's not sure. It's worked out well. Is this a fast track? Are you safe? Great work. Great work. Well done, Mitchell. Wipe the board, girls. Lock those positions in your memory. You may want to use them a little later. Tiana, let's go for a run with you. Oh, no entry. Bad luck. Take a step back. Select a new entry point. Going over to where we saw Mitchell run before. Jenny, your run. Go. Take a step. Good work, Jenny. Three screens down. Hey, for everyone at home, Queen Jade has cast a spell to make it winter in Narnia all year round. Oh, are we on another fast track? Nice work, Jenny. Fantastic start. Wipe the board clean. Good luck, Tiana, to get into the game zone with question two. What weighs more players? Is it A, the world's biggest pair, or B, a healthy human heart? What weighs more? All locked in now. Let's see what our players think. Pair for Mitchell, who's got a chance to step off the game zone. A pair for Jenny, who's got a chance to step off the game zone. Tiana, you've gone with Hart. Now, if Hart's correct, you get a chance to go for a run. You could find a fast track. We have seen a lot of the squares that get you down to the game zone quickly. Let's have a look. What weighs more? Tiana, it's the world's biggest pair. Step off the game zone, guys. Mitchell and Jenny, you're correct. Let's go to the game zone. We need to find out who we're saying goodbye to. Jenny, you're there on 65 points. Tiana on 80. Mitchell in the lead on 95. Great work, Mitchell. Jenny, you had a, uh, Jenny, you had a little bit of good luck and a little bit yeah. of bad luck. Round one was tricky. You found the fast track in round two. Unfortunately, we're saying goodbye right now, but you get to take home all of this stuff. Have a look. Every player on GoGo -Go Stop takes home the latest TV hits and Kazo magazines, a Pez pack, vouchers, mobile phone accessories from Paraf, and these books from HarperCollins, including Totally Horseman and Selby Shattered. Improve the way you read, write, and spell with the Macquarie Concise Dictionary. Have some serious fun with a 20 game time zone power card. And get creative with this craft kit from Faber Castell. You get all of this, and our congratulations from GoGo -Go Stop. Well done, Jenny, and great teamwork there from Mitchell. Guys, after the break, we're going to be saying goodbye to either Mitchell or Tiana. Find out who, and find out who gets to run for prizes in round four, right after the break on Go Go Stop. Go Go Stop. Welcome back to Go Go Stop. And then there were two. We have eliminated one player. We're now down to Mitchell on 95 points and in the lead. And Tiana on 80 points. Only a small gap, guys, when you consider in this round 20 points for correct answers. Be aware there are no bonus screens and heaps more hazards, including the swap places and the start again hazard. And there's 50 points on offer for stepping off the game zone first. Let's load up the game zone now for round three, head to head. That's the way, guys, stepping forward to select your entry positions. I'm going to show everyone at home the fast track. This is one of the quickest ways down the game zone. It's very hard to find in this day and age of plenty of hazards. You ready to play? For 20 points. Who would lose a race between A, a hyena, and B, a clown going at top speed on a Grand Prix racing motorbike? Hmm, who would lose? What have you selected? Mitchell with the hyena, Tiana with the bike. The answer is A, hyena. Take a step forward, Mitchell. Let's light up your screen. The hyena would lose because it runs about 40 kilometers per hour and Grand Prix motor bikes can reach speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour as we find one of those swap places. Okay, Mitchell, your run needs to now stop because you are off the game yeah. zone. Tiana, we'll light up, uh, you were incorrect, sorry, so we won't light up your screen. That's the end of question one. Question two now for 20 points. What is longer? Is it A, the big trout in Adamitami in New South Wales, or B, a full-grown baleen whale? Which is longer, A for trout, B for whale? What do our players reckon? Whale for Mitchell, Tiana with trout, once again going for opposing answers. The correct answer is B, the baleen whale. Take another step forward, Mitchell. Second bite of the cherry. What have you found? Okay, let's go for a run. Yet the big trout in Adaminibi uh, reaches about 10 metres long as you stop. Baleen whales can drive to 30 metres. Wipe the board. Next question. Tiana, your chance to pick up 20 points with a correct answer. Which object is more spherical? A, Saturn, or B, a basketball? More spherical. A or B? 
What do you guys think? Let's have a look. Basketball for both players. Take a step forward, guys. You're both correct. Well done. Tiana, let's have a look at your screen first. Go. Tiana currently on 100 points. Mitchell on 155. Only the highest point scorer goes through to our final player's prize round. Tiana finds a hazard. What has she discovered? A safe zone. Nice. Wipe the board. Mitchell, let's go for a run with you. Light it up. Take a step. Remembering 50 points on offer for stepping off the game zone first. It is a huge bonus and really can narrow some big gaps. And you're safe. Wipe the board. Next question, Mitchell, a correct answer, and you step off the game zone for that extra 50. What is taller? Is it A, the Great Pyramid of Giza, or B, the world's tallest bridge? What is taller, A or B? What do our players think? Bridge for both players. Mitchell, if the answer is bridge, Tiana will get the 20 points, but you'll get the 20 points and the extra 50. Your scores are only separated by 45 points at this stage. What is taller? The answer, B, the world's tallest bridge. Step forward, guys. Mitchell is excited. Tiana, you played very well. On 120 points, you are our lowest point scorer, but all of those points are going to your school. If your school is in the lead at the end of the week, this is the school's prize they'll be taking home. Have a look. This week's grand prize is the latest in cutting-edge technology from Ideal Resources. Your lessons will become fully interactive and engaging as the classroom wall is transformed into a huge touchscreen with the new Onfinity CM2 Portable Interactive Whiteboard System. Using the special Onfinity E-Pen, any computer and its applications can be controlled from the front of the class. You can also choose $1,000 worth of innovative software for the whole school. Our runner-up schools win Encyclopedia Britannica's Ultimate Online Reference Suite, a totally up-to-date interactive library with thousands of articles on everything from A to Z. These incredible prizes are brought to you by the best-selling Encyclopedia Britannica, Ideal Resources and Go Go Stop. Great schools prize there. Hey, why don't we have a look at our school scores at this point in the week. With that big prize on offer, it's very interesting. Riverston on 345. In second, Bird Oldfield 525. But in the lead, Epping Heights. But gee, it's not a big gap. Anything could happen. We've still got two more days of go-go stop this week. Hey, for everyone playing at home, the world's tallest bridge is in France and at 343 metres high, it is about twice as tall as the pyramid, uh, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Tiana, thank you very much for being on the show. Well played. After the break, Mitchell, get ready to run. 60 seconds to find five prizes. Don't miss it, guys. This is go-go stop. Go-go stop. Welcome back to Go Go Stop. If you've just joined us, let me introduce you to Mitchell. He's playing for Burt Oldfield Public School and he has just clawed them back into within a hair's breadth of the lead. It's very close. But let's forget about that for the moment. Mitchell, this round is all about you. This game zone is hiding five prizes. It's your job to find them in 60 seconds. So spin around and I'll tell you about how this round works. You've got five categories today. Technology, pop culture, animals, natural wonders and human body. One question for each category. 60 seconds on the clock to correctly answer all five questions and find all five prizes hidden under the game zone. Now the most important thing in this round is to yell out everything you do. So you select a category by jumping on the screen and yelling it out. I'll read out the corresponding question. To answer either true or false, run up the game zone, jump on the screen and yell it out. If you're correct, I'll say go. That's when you come down here and find the screen which hides a prize. Once you're happy on that screen, yell out stop. We'll flip the screen round. If a prize reveals that's yours to take home, you win it. If it says try again, quickly come down, jump on another category and yell it out. And we'll continue until you've found all five prizes or until we've gotten rid of all five questions or until 60 seconds is up. Okay, all understood? Yes. I'm going to show you now exactly what you're playing for today. Check this out. With the latest range of new season clothing and sports gear from Bont, you could be dressed for success in the latest designs in sports gear. These high-performance fashions come courtesy of Australia's own Bond International, turning sports wear into sport fashion. You can create all sorts of fun in the kitchen with these awesome appliances from Sunbeam. The Cornelius popcorn maker turns your kitchen into a cinema snack bar. Or whip up the smoothest smoothies in the galaxy with Mikey Martian. Or enjoy fluffy ice treats all summer long with the Avalanche snow cone and frozen drink maker. Compliments of Sunbeam. 
You could be hitting the mean streets of your town with this awesome ignition skateboard. Featuring concave deck and ABEC bearings, complete with Bandai Sirocco helmet and all the safety gear you'll ever need for Rampage, this is the ultimate skating starter pack and it could be yours thanks to Rebel Sport for all your sporting needs. With these full colour titles from HarperCollins, you could be expanding your mind or travelling without moving. The Times Atlas of the World is perfect for home, school or office. And Space is a pictorial celebration of 50 years in space exploration. These beautiful reference books could be yours thanks to HarperCollins. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, K-Man Skate School is the best place to learn how to skate safely, get fit and have fun. With help from our experienced and friendly coaches, you could be skating with confidence thanks to K-Man Skate School. But only if you own the zone on Go Go Stop. Mitchell, five great prizes. Before I reveal their position on the game zone, which prize takes your fancy the most? The, um, learn to skateboard. Hey, that's a great, uh, that's a ticket price, professional skateboarding lessons. Yep. Do you know, I, I mean, I don't want to say anything to influence your decisions, but the electrical appliances with the popcorn maker, the milkshake maker and the ice cream maker sounds pretty cool to me. Five prizes. I'm going to show you now exactly where they're hidden. Have a look. Okay, over there, that's the clothing and fashion pack. That's the electrical appliances right there. This one's the sports pack. Over here are the books and here, remember this one, the professional skateboarding lesson tickets. All set? Locked in the memory? Yep. Wipe the board. 60 seconds on the clock. Jump on the first screen to activate the timer. Pop culture! Pop culture. Nicole Kidman has been married to Jack Black. True or false? False! Go, find the prize. Yell it out. Let's have a look. Go, next category. Natural wonders! Due to unusual meteorology, it actually never rains in Spain. True or false? True! Incorrect. Next category. Sea urchins often attack and eat sharks. True or false? True. Incorrect. Next category. Human body. Human fingernails are made of the same substance as hair. True or false? True. Correct. Find the prize. You've got 24 Stop. seconds. Let's have a look. You've got the book's prize. Okay, 20 seconds on Technology. the clock. The, the first words spoken into the phonograph were Mary had a little lamb. The first words ever spoken into the phonograph. False. Incorrect, the answer was true. Hey, you got through it so quickly. We've still got 10 seconds on the clock, but come and have a look at what you're taking home. With these skating lessons, you'll be riding like a pro in no time. Whether you're a beginner or if you've already got it on board, these expert lessons will take you to the next level thanks to K-Man Skate School. Now you can explore the Earth in all its glory or transport yourself to another world in a celebration of 50 years of space travel with these impressive titles in beautiful hardcover from our friends at HarperCollins. Great prizes. Well done, Mitchell. Put it right there. You have played an absolute crack of a game today. Not only, my pleasure. Not only did you get through to the final player's prize round and pick up two prizes, but you also made it uh, all the way here and just your school, Bert Olfield, is just in second place with plenty of chances over the next two days to take out that school's prize. A couple of questions that you got wrong. Uh, the technology question, the answer was true. After inventing the phonograph, the first words Edison spoke into it were, Mary had a little lamb. I know, kind of weird. Uh, question three, the animals question was false. Sea urchins do not attack sharks. And the last one, natural wonders was false. Of course, it does rain in Spain. And what a lovely country it is. Mitchell, well done. Good luck to your school for the rest of the week. Any tips for people uh, up on the game zone for round four in the next couple of days? Um, it's just like a normal board game. Don't get nervous. Pretend there's no audience. Just be yourself. Great tip. All right. Everyone, please, one round of applause for Mitchell. And Mitchell, let's give the camera a big wave and say thank you very much to everyone at home for watching. And we'll thank see you, you tomorrow, same time, same place, for more Go Go Stop. Have a nice afternoon, guys. Bye-bye.